prefer? Okay, it's a very long story, but I'll give you the very brief version. Uh, I bought a camera by selling Christmas cards when I was nine years old because I thought being a photographer would be really cool. And I got a 120 film box camera that I shot with a lot. And then when I went to college, um, I went to architectural school to um, study architecture to become an architect. And while I was there, I took up a lot of photography courses uh, as electives. And then when I completed architectural school, I continued taking photography courses and worked in an architectural firm. So I've been doing architecture since I left college. And then when I was about 26 years old, I decided it was time to pursue photography as a career. So I stopped doing the architecture and started doing a photography business called Positive Image. And at that time, I was shooting everything that I could get my hands on because it was a matter of eating. And so I shot catalog work, I did product work, I did fashion work, I shot for Harvard University for annual reports. So pretty much anything that I could get my hands on. I knew all of the art directors in Boston and they would feed me work for uh, product and a little bit of fashion. Uh, and so that's what got me into photography and it was, it's been kind of a cool trip because it's evolved dramatically over the years. So I was working in photography um, for about two and a half years doing only photography, no architecture at all. And I was finding out that I wasn't making enough money to, to live the lifestyle that I wanted. So I started doing architectural work again and worked for uh, various architectural firms around the city until I opened my own firm in 1990. And in 1999, I wanted to get way more serious about photography again, so I reopened Positive Image uh, and started doing only fashion and beauty. Because I had the architectural firm running and was making money doing that, I didn't need to do every kind of photography available. I could specialize in just what I wanted to, and I really wanted to do fashion and beauty. So uh, for the last 12 years now, I've been doing commercial photography, shooting fashion and beauty. So the photography, um, is going well and as commercial business and one day I was working with a model <clears throat> and I had gone to a, a building supply store and I found this material called rope light which is a string of lights that you might find on someone's uh, outdoor patio like at a restaurant or something like that and so after the shoot that we did the commercial shoot I asked the model to hang around for a while and I draped the lights over her and started fooling around with shooting at different exposures and apertures to see what the result would be and it was kind of cool. So that kind of started my art involvement in photography. So now I've got architecture and interior design going, I've got commercial photography and I'm now pursuing photography as art because it really blends with the architectural side. My training all along in architecture has been in graphic arts, in building design, in uh, all types of design and so now this is just a natural evolution and step in my career path towards uh, the artwork. So um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this and it's, uh, it's really exciting. So in architecture, you're always looking at the forms, the shape, and the light that, that has an impact on the building. Uh, photography is very similar. Photography, you're always creating forms out of the image and composition, and the light is the major impact on photography. Without the light, we don't have photographs at all, and capturing the light is one of the most important things in photography. And that's actually what happens in architecture as well. You create buildings that capture the light on the outside to articulate the shape, and you also create light to the interior to help the occupants live and, uh, and do their tasks. So it's, it's a combination, architecture and photography and interior design, all really are symbiotic. They're a combination of all these uh, same facets of design that blend with one another and make either a building or a photograph, or in my, not my new case, making art on canvas, like what's behind me. So it's, uh, it's a, uh, a real interesting kind of capture, either capturing the design of a building or you're capturing an image on a sensor that you're then turning into a piece of art. So the, uh, the architectural firm that I started in 1990 is called Ranieri Associates. It's still running very strongly. We do architecture in all different stratas. We do uh, healthcare, hospitals and nursing homes. We do hospitality, like we spent three years doing over the Seaport Hotel. Uh, we do interior design, uh, where we do interiors of offices 
and we do a lot of retail work as well and multifamily work. So we've got a multidisciplinary firm, and the reason for that is to basically stay in business when one industry is down another industry is is up so that's how we've been able to maintain this firm over all these years the photography business uh, as I said I started out doing pretty much any kind of product work that I could get or any kind of commercial work I don't do weddings uh, and that evolved into doing fashion and beauty which has now evolved into doing the artwork so positive image still is a uh, does a lot of commercial work I shoot for designers all the time I shoot for models so that's still a, a very strong business and the artwork is augmenting all of this. The objective uh, with joining with Canvas Fine Arts is to have them represent my artwork in different venues that I wouldn't have opportunity to get to. And so it's, uh, it's very interesting because it's pushing me to create all of this art that I've been talking about for about two or three years now and really haven't done much with at all. I've taken photographs of models wearing light but haven't really done much with that except for the last since December. Uh, it's been ongoing now that it's been a real push and a primary focus of what I'm working on so I spend a lot of time doing the art as photography. I have a show that opens at Neiman Marcus on March 1st that will run for three months and they're allowing me to distribute to the entire first floor which is kind of cool because I have um, about 14 to 16 places where I can put my art and the art will have different mediums. There'll be print on paper and there'll be print on canvas so it's, um, it's a little bit different for me because I've never actually printed a photo on canvas. Most commercial work that I do is you do the digital images and you send the digital images around and they print them in magazines or uh, use them on the web. So it's uh, going into this whole art as canvas work is really quite different for me. Okay, so we're in the studio now at Positive Image and we're shooting light on a model. And I'm about to set up my camera uh, to make sure that I've got this all right. I'm going to take the lens cap off. That's the most important thing. Tough to shoot when the lens cap is on. So Andy's going to be shooting and seeing what's on the screen. While okay, stop moving. Perfect. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this time, uh, Emily, when you turn, what I'd like you to do is put your arms up so that they're parallel to the floor and keep them that way. Don't go any higher than that. Okay. And then lower them when you come back around. Go. Good. Start lowering them. Perfect. So this should get us more uh, the horizontal kind of image on here. There it is. Go. Slowly. <laughs> Keep going. Start dropping your arms and bend your legs. Now start going up slowly. Perfect. <laughs> 